Hello everybody, this is Chris Arana from Mexico City, brand ambassador for Innovative Sugar World. And today, I want to show you a very simple and quick tutorial of how to make a beautiful cake inspired on the new collection of Dolce & Gabbana. So, let's get started. So, I'm gonna start by layering my vanilla cake with a yummy cream cheese frosting. And of course, getting my cake moist with a tres leches mix. Let it chill on the fridge for about 10 minutes and start simple carving the cake. I'm just looking for a nice rounded look. Once you're happy with the shape of your cake, crumb coat the cake with ganache and chill on the fridge for about 10 or 15 minutes until it feels hard enough. After this, I'm gonna use a hair dryer to apply a little heat to my cake to get my ganache a little soft so I can use my sugar smoothers to get a nice, perfect and smooth surface. And we are ready to start decorating our cake. So, knead some black fondant and roll it on a thorough 3 mm thickness. Start covering your cake and don't worry for the creasings on the sides. We are looking for a pillow looking, so don't panic. Cut the excess of fondant and put it away. And again, it's time for our sugar smoothers. By using the softest small one, I can smooth the surface of my fondant. Then it will be ready to texture it. Now, by using a silicone mold, create two robes with black fondant and color them with some gold highlighter with the help of our innovative Sugar Works artist brushes. Take your sugar shapers and using the soft blue one, remark the creasings on the sides. And now start embossing the cake, creating kind of a flower shape on the top. Don't worry if it doesn't look perfect. Remember, we're trying to get a shape and the texture of a pillow. And of course, you can use a stitching wheel to create some stitches on the top of the cake. Now, roll some fondant on a one centimeter thickness. Cover it with a plastic film and using a heart-shaped cutter, cut over the plastic to get a rounded edge. And with your fingers, make it smooth, to take away all those rough edges. Once you're happy with the shape of your heart, put it on a side. Again, roll some fondant but now on a 2 mm thickness.
Put some edible glue on the back of your heart and place it over your fondant plaque. And now it's time for our soft mini tip sugar shapers. I'm using the red treated chisel to mark kind of a flames or petal shapes around the heart. And remember, you can go back and remark every line you make. Now to add more texture to our brooch, I'm gonna use the orange bone chisel to mark some simple dots inside each flame or petal. And remember, the more texture you add to the fondant, the better it will look. I'm gonna end texturing the brooch, marking two or three lines between every two flames, using the light blue pointed chisel sugar shaper. I'm gonna use some gold highlighter to color the brooch by using my innovative Sugar Works fluffy dusting brush. Start applying gold to the sides using the brush in a horizontal position. This way you will be able to leave gold only on the highlights and of course leaving black the marked lines. And don't forget to completely cover the heart with gold. And you can apply some extra gold right at the edge of the heart just to make sure it is completely covered. Using an exacto knife, carefully cut right at the edge of the shape to take the excess away. Be careful and take your time on this process. Once you're happy with the shape of your brush, take the excess and put it away. With a fine brush, apply some edible glue right at the edge of the heart. You can help yourself to accommodate each pearl with the light blue pointed chisel sugar shaper. It may take a little, but I assure you that the result will look stunning. Can you see? It starts to look awesome. Don't you love it already? I'm gonna add some embellishments to the brooch using a crown and baby angel silicone molds. Look how I'm using my orange bone chisel sugar shaper to press the fondant to the silicone molds and also taking the excess with it. Also, you want to make sure to color them with gold highlighter and they are ready to get in position. Put some edible glue on the back of the brooch and position it right in the center of your cake. You also want to put some edible glue on the back of your angel and position it. And you can also help yourself with your sugar shapers to accommodate. And we finally finished. What do you think? It looks so fancy, right? So, I hope you enjoyed! Don't forget to follow Innovative Sugar Works social media such as mine for more tutorials and secrets on how to use the best tools ever. See you later!